Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the second episode of our what to do in the first hour of your of your worm experience on the Mythmore server. Watch the first one to know what server we're on. So we're going to go ahead and reset our timer. Boom, 10 minutes. So you're going to find yourself here. You're going to run up to this newbie guide, newbie guide. I hate the name of that so much. And we're going to go through the newbie guide. I'm using quotations right here. Oh, air quotation. Newbie guide um, quests. I'm going to right click on him. I'm going to ask for receiving instructions. He's going to tell me. Newbie guy looks at you sternly and says, Welcome to these lands. We are at war. I have little time and you have a lot to learn in order to survive. I suggest we get started immediately. You got it, boss. Press F2 to check out your skills. So I'm going to push F2. Like we talked about, here's my skills. You can expand your skills. You can collapse them. You can expand them. And then press F3 to look at your inventory. Well, our inventory is already up, but if we push F3, our inventory is there. Okay, and also press C in order to see your character window. And there's my character window. I am going to click this. I have done that now. Okay, now the next one. The newbie guide looks at you sternly and says, Okay, click the hatchet in your inventory window. Notice how it becomes selected. Okay, you need to double click on the hatchet, not just click it. So if I clicked it once, it becomes highlighted i need to double click on it to activate it and that's not what they put in there so double click on it to activate it how it becomes selected at the bottom of your inventory and it's talking right here right here at the bottom of your inventory it tells me what's activated so if i activate the carving knife it tells me carving knife is activated uh we're going to activate the hatchet okay i have done that now uh, you should wear the shield on your left arm. That's pretty simple. It says put the shield in the shield slot. Good against dangerous creatures. Make sure you wield your sword. So the sword is already there, but let's go ahead and show you how to wield the sword. Uh, here is my right hand. Here is my left hand. Here's my shield slot. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it into my right hand. In addition, if you didn't want to do that, you can just drag it over your skeleton and it'll auto populate. And then I'm going to drag my skill into my skeleton and it will automatically pop you. Oh, I guess it didn't. I'm going to drag it into the shield slot. Okay. Uh, great. I go, I'm, I'm wielding my weapons and my defense send. You must learn how to gather resources. Select your hatchet in your inventory by double clicking it and find the tree outside. So that's it should be activated. So we already activated. We want to double click our hatchet. Right click on the tree and cut it down. Then chop the tree up and bring some wood. Okay, I'm going to do this right now, buddy. Okay, you accept the mission. You got it. So I'm going to run out here. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to run out this way. Let's run out this way. I'm going to go straight north, south, east. east. Oh, there's some trees over there. I see some trees. Don't worm. It's a sandbox, right? Whatever you see, you can go. If you see a tree, you can chop it down. Or if you see a piece of land, you can dig it up. Whatever you want to do, man. This is, uh, this is worm online. That's a, that looks like a, an olive tree. Let's run over there to that olive tree. Okay, I like to come over here. I like to right click on my um, my little bar over here. I want to display my name. I like to display my FPS. I like to display my speed. Um, that way I know how fast I'm going. If I see a drastically low, I think maybe I'm climbing or I'm doing something wrong. So in order to cut down this tree, I'm going to everything in Worm is on tiles, okay, or squares or tiles. And out on this square tile around it is a tile border okay you see if i select the tile if i go over here's the tile border tile border tile border okay this tree is right here on the olive tree tile border i'm gonna click that okay click 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 i'm gonna click it and it's gonna open up these menus in my hot key or hot button menus i can i can examine it it's going to tell me it's an old olive tree i can go ahead and track to find any creatures i can cut it down i can forage it i can botanize it but we're going to cut it down because that's what that newbie guide wants to now you can either click it here your icon here and then you see how i chopped it down if i examine it again it's going to tell me how much damage i did i did 34 damage well, if you right click on the actual tile, you can right click and cut it down and it's the same concept. There you go. So I went ahead and I did 68 damage. So one more chop 
and down it goes. Oh, take the wood by right clicking and selecting take and bring it back to you. Okay, so I made a piece of log, a, a olive wood log. I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna take it. In addition, if I click it, click, 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 okay, and you see how in my um, shortcut, I, it went ahead and gave me this new option to take. I'm gonna go ahead and click that take. And now it's in my inventory. You see my total weight is 16, and now that piece of wood is 4.4 kilograms, or pounds, but it's probably kilograms because this is a Swedish game. All right, if I open my character menu by pushing C, okay, and I come up here to the left side, it's gonna tell me my equipment weight, how much weight I'm carrying, how much is my inventory and how much total weight and it's going to tell me if i want to run okay running is completely based on weight if i want to run i'm going to have to have my weight less than 38 kilograms and then uh so that's going to give me the top speed so let's close that out and let's go ahead and go back to the newbie guide look at all these people on the server that's just wonderful a lot of Zeox, Zex, Zex, Sox, Zeox. All right. We're going back to the newbie guide. To the newbie guide we go. All right. To the newbie guide. We're here, buddy. We got our log. Uh, let's right click you. Hey, you're waving at me. Let's go ahead and wave back. Wave back. All right. We're going to right click on him. We're going to receive instructions. All right. So, in order to make kindling, use an axe a saw or a knife and right click the log okay i'm gonna do that right now so i already have my hatchet activated okay i'm gonna right click on the log i'm gonna go to create and right click create kindling kindlings now here's another way to do it down here on your other quick bar here, you have uh, climbing. This is how, if you're gonna climb ste steep slopes, okay? So if you click that, you see how it's bright now? It's highlighted. And you can notice how slow I am now. See how slow I'm walking? 4.3 kilometers per hour. If I click that off, look at me. Now I'm running 17 kilometers per hour. And you always walk or run faster on roads, slabs, uh, cobblestone, etc. Um I'm, I'm going to go ahead and open my crafting window by over here, the crafting uh, window icon. And I'm going to drag my hatchet into one window, and I'm going to drag the log into the other one. And it's going to tell me I can now build these different items. Okay, It's a little bit easier for some to right-click, create, and you can see all the different things you can create. So I'm going to create my kindling. Here we go, creating my kindling and boom you should go see if there's any more instructions all right let's go ahead and we create our kindling buddy so let's go to the newbie guide right click on him receive instructions now use the flint and steel which is actually wrong it's steel and flint um, and the kindling in order to light it okay so we're gonna make a campfire okay and you're still sternly looking at me i don't like your face all right I will do this right now. Now, you can't do it inside this building. So if you try to do it, it's going to say no. So you're going to come out here outside the building because that's a building right there. Okay, with the pretty little windows. You can see the people already made it. Here's ash. All right, let's go ahead and open our window. We're going to drag our flint and steel into one and then drag our kindling into the other window. And we can create a campfire. In addition, okay, you can also double clicked and activate your flint and steel you see it's activated now because i double clicked it and you can right click on the kindling create furnace campfire but let's just stick to the crafting window okay i selected campfire it's highlighted right there i'm going to create and survey says i failed big o x let's try it again oh i can't because the kindling's too small so i have to make more kindling so let's go ahead and make more kindling. We got 20 seconds left. Okay, highlight the kindling. Let's make two. Oh man, we're cutting it close. I don't think it's gonna be a little bit over 10 minutes. That's okay. Oh, I failed on that one, but you can see my st my skills are going up. That's nice. Oh, failed again. One more time, let's go. 
Uh, one more time. Nope, failed again. Let's do it. You can notice my stamina is going down every time I try and the, the timer goes up. Okay, so sometimes if you if you just wait and let the stamina, it will automatically refresh based on time. Oh, I did it. Okay, but now I need to combine these two because it's not enough. So if you highlight or activate one kindling and then you hold shift and click on the next one, okay, now they're both highlighted. You're going to right click on the one that's not activated. That's important. Not activated. Right click. Combine. Now, you can also drag this into the crafting window and push this little combine button right here. Boom. So let's go ahead and make our campfire to end this video. Campfire. Boom. Great. I made a campfire. Thanks for watching. The next one, let's see what the newbie guide has in store for us.